Ubiquiti have added three brand new cameras to their Unify Protect range, the G6 Pro Dome, the G6 Pro Turret, and the AI Multi-Sensor. So let's take a look at them in a little bit more detail. Now keep in mind this is a reaction video so don't expect to see actual physical hardware, but well, let's talk about some of them in a little bit more detail. First we'll kick off with the UI video and we'll have a quick look at this. Welcome to our new high performance dome lineup. Beginning with the G6 Pro turret, a next generation camera built for exceptional clarity and reliability. At its core is a large one over 1.2 inch, eight megapixel image sensor paired with a 2.36x optical zoom lens, delivering stunning 4K detail and remarkable low light performance. Designed for both indoor and outdoor environments, it's rugged IP66 housing and multi-topped AI engine combine advanced optics, intelligent detection, and durability in one elegant package. It also features a 40 meter IR range, a white light LED for enhanced color imaging at night, an integrated speaker for two-way audio, onboard SD card storage for high availability recording, and an attention grabbing LED ring that improves face ID capture accuracy. For high security environments, the G6 Pro Dome brings the same imaging and AI power into a sleek IK10 rated vandal resistant design, ideal for industrial and public spaces. Expanding our special application AI series of cameras, the new AI Multi-Sensor 4 introduces four independent 4K sensors with 2.3x optical zoom, enabling wide area coverage and exceptional detail from a single installation. Perfect for mission critical venues, it delivers four synchronized perspectives blended into one seamless management experience. All models are offered in dual color options and supported by a full range of custom design mounting accessories, ensuring simple professional deployments in any environment. So those are the three brand new ones that are coming about and the specifications are very similar to the G6 Pro turret that we saw earlier this year. So let's start with the one that's available today, which is the G6 Pro Dome. So that is a 4K PoE plus 2.36 optical zoom and that one over 1.2 inch CMOS sensor. And if the results are anything to go by of the G6 Pro turret, this is going to give you really good low light performance. If we dive a little bit deeper into the low level detail, we have the 40 meter IR distance, the optical zoom, it does all the smart recognitions. So it does face and license plates, but we have a microphone, IP66 rating and IK10 vandal resistance. In terms of everything else, it all looks fairly standard. We have the eight megapixel, 30 frames per second. We have the built-in adaptive IR LED illumination. For those that want to know, this takes 15 watts worth of power. In terms of pricing, $499 in the US. The white color is available today with a black color coming in December 2025. And for those of you that are in the EU, the shipping is November 2025, so not quite available today. And the price comes in at 538 euros. Or if we look at the United Kingdom, that comes in at 474 pounds. And the UK model is also available today as well. Next, we have the Pro Turret option, which for me, I think is the nicest looking camera out of all of them. And before anyone asks, yes, it does have the pigtail on the end of it. So we can see that just in this illustration just down here. Again, same sort of spec, 4K PoE plus 2.36 optical zoom and that large low light sensor. If we jump down to the technical, we'll see if we can see anything different. Same field of view, 113.8 degrees. It's IP66 rated, but the temper resistance is IK04. Again, same thing, 15 watts worth of power and has the quad core ARM Cortex A53 based chip. It does have a micro SD card slot built into it as well for that edge recording, if that's what you're after. And in terms of availability for this, this comes in at $479. It's shipping week of 17th November and the black color is gonna be available in January, 2026. So if you are looking for that color, you're probably gonna have to wait a little bit longer. For those in the EU, it's exactly the same and also for those in the UK as well. Now, the one that we all want to know more about is the new AI multi-sensor. So this is an all weather PoE++, so PoE++ is just not gonna be good enough for this. And it's a 32 megapixel multi-sensor camera featuring the multi-tops AI engine. So 2.33 times optical zoom, just not the 2.36 and it gives the wide 360 degree IR coverage with four independent adjustable lenses. So for example, if you wanted to zoom in a little bit closer in one area and a wider field of view in another area, you could do that as well. This again comes in both colors, both shipping in December, 2025. There's no price on this as of yet. So when we do get more information, I will bring that to you. In terms of the technical information, the IR doesn't go as far, it's 20 meters on this, but it does have all the smart detections. 32 megapixel in terms of the resolution, so I assume that's eight times four. 
uh, IP66 and IK10 vandal resistance, giving you that peace of mind if you have it out in public display that it does have some sort of protection against it. It has a gigabit port and there's the resolution, so four times eight megapixels, and it has the one over 2.8 inch eight megapixel sensor. So not quite as big in terms of the low light, but still a very good sensor within. This does need a little bit more power, 34.6 watts, and it has the dual core ARM A76 processor inside. And it seems like it comes with a bit of weight as well at 2.4 kilos. One thing I did find interesting that I did see down in the tech specs is it does have two micro SD card slots within it. And it also takes an M2 2280 SATA SSD as well. So you have a few different options in terms of backing up your data. In terms of maximum capacity size, once I get my hands on it, we'll have a quick look and see what we can find out about it. But if there's anything specific you want to see when we do get them, let me know down in the comments below. Jumping into a quick comparison between them. So this is what the turret lineup looks like at the moment. We have the G5 turret ultra being the budget option to the G6 turret to the G6 pro turret. We also have the AI turret in there as well. I'll probably save this for the actual video when, when I get to it, but we'll have a quick look down here and see some of the specifications. Uh, we have a slightly wider angle. The IR distance seems to be the same as the AI version. They're all IP66, whereas the Pro version and the AI version has two-way audio, gigabit port, and again, it's that bigger sensor within giving you that extra low light. And then we move to the dome options, and we have a few different more here. So we have the G5 Dome Ultra, the G6 Dome, the AI Dome, and the G6 Pro Dome. So again, I'll dive into this as I get my hands on them into a little bit more detail when we do some comparisons. But again, this has the widest field of view, it has the longest IR distance, and it has the optical zoom built in as well. It has a microphone, so there's no two-way audio in this, but I don't think any of the domes do have two-way audio. Not really designed for that use case. IP66 rated, so we have the IK, IK10 resistance. Again, we have that large 1 over 1.2 inch sensor with a 15 watt power within it as well. Looks like it's probably the heaviest one of the bunch too. These are definitely much needed additions to the Unified Protect lineup. We have now the pro versions of the dome, turret and bullet. So all of them are now going to be there. We also have the addition of the AI multi-sensor, which personally I'm really looking forward to testing. But if there's something specific you wanna see when I get my hands on them or I do my comparison videos, let me know down in the comments below. All the links to these products are there as well. For now, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.